Hello and welcome to Vegan Cafe 21. Today we are making gluten-free and vegan sandwich bread. So let's get started. Here I have one cup of buckwheat flour, half a cup of gram flour, half a cup of sorghum flour, half a cup of coconut flour, and here in this bowl, we have one and a half cups of arrowroot powder. Back here, I have a quarter cup of flax meal. Now this is what flax meal looks like. You can get flax seeds and grind them in your spice grinder or coffee grinder and turn it into a meal like this, or you can purchase flax meal from the store. In this bowl, I have soaked quarter cup of flax meal in three quarter cups of water. It has been soaking for about 15 minutes and this is what it looks like. Next to our soaked flax meal, I have half a cup of olive oil. This is good quality extra virgin olive oil. A quarter cup of maple syrup. Three quarter teaspoons of pink salt and one package of rapid rise instant yeast. This is a quarter ounce packet. So all we need to do now is take a bowl and in this bowl, we are going to add everything you see on this board. Let's make some room and using a whisk we are going to incorporate all of our flowers and salt. Okay, now just open your packet of yeast and drop it into this bowl of flour. Incorporate our yeast nicely into this flour blend. Here I have already greased a 9 by 5 loaf pan it's ready and waiting for us and over on the stove top i have warmed up some water this is about one and a half cups of water that is lukewarm the way you know is if you put your finger in the water it should not be unbearable it should be comfortable to touch this is about 95 degrees 95 to 96 degrees fahrenheit you don't want your water to be too hot because it will kill the yeast if it is too cold your yeast will not rise. So getting the right temperature of your water is important. Now before we add water, let's add the flax meal, our olive oil, and maple syrup. Now we slowly start adding water. This dough will come together just with a whisk. You don't need to put your hands into this one. Just keep twisting your whisk like this and gathering up the dry flour. Incorporate it into this wet dough-like formation. Now this motion is important to get some strands going in our dough and it'll also let the dough release from the middle of the whisk. Hammer it down, catch the dough, fold it over like this. Keep turning your bowl as you hammer with your whisk. Hammer and fold. This will also break any lumps in the dough at this point. So out of a cup and a half of water that we started out with, we have used this much and I have about two tablespoons of water remaining. We have a nice, sticky, soft batter slash dough. It's thicker than batter and thinner than dough. Now we'll transfer our dough into our greased loaf pan.
Now I'm gonna brush the leftover olive oil in the bowl over our dough. You don't wanna pack it down, you just wanna gently coat it with some olive oil. And now we are going to let it sit and rest and rise for about an hour and 15 minutes. The best draft-free place in my house is my oven. So I'm gonna walk it to the oven and let it sit in there. I'm just gonna take a plate and cover it with it. Shut the door and turn the light on. Now, remember the oven is turned off. I just turned the light on to help it along. We'll check back with our dough in about an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been an hour. Let's check on our dough. Look at that. So now I'm gonna pull it out of the oven and place it on the counter and start preheating the oven. Okay, so we have pulled our dough out of the oven. It rose beautifully. So we'll let it sit here while our oven preheats to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. By then it would be an hour and 15 minutes. So our oven is ready. Now we just want to gently clear the edges of our loaf pan. Looks good. Now we are ready to walk this to our preheated oven and we are gonna bake this bread for 45 minutes, tented under aluminum foil. And I'm going to place this aluminum foil so it does not touch our dough. Like this. This is going to help prevent rapid browning of our bread. Now this bread is not going to have a round top. It will deflate a little bit, but that is okay. We will come back and check on our bread after 45 minutes. All right, so our timer just went off. Now we would allow our bread to bake for another five to seven minutes uncovered at 375 to allow the top to turn golden brown. All right, our bread is out of the oven. Now we're gonna let it sit in the loaf pan for about 10 minutes and then we will invert it onto a wire rack to cool completely before we slice it. It's been about 12 minutes since we pulled our bread out of the oven and it's comfortable to touch the loaf pan now. So we are gonna go ahead and invert it onto our wire rack. Now we are gonna allow this bread to cool completely before we begin slicing. This is very important. It may take two to three hours depending on the season and the temperature inside your house, but we are gonna be patient with this step. We are ready to slice it. You see this texture? Now don't let the sunken top fool you because the texture of this bread is super soft and it toasts beautifully. Cut it to your desired thickness. Let me show you how soft this bread is. Do you see it? Great to make sandwiches with. And here's a slice that I have toasted. Enjoy it with butter, jam, jelly, marmalade, what have you. Let's give it a try. Mm. Delicious. Very soft and chewy as you bite into it and crunchy on the outside. So there you have it, gluten-free, vegan sandwich bread. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please do give it a try and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with more vegan favorites.